Hey guys, so I'll be showing you how to dump your Wii U games over your network using a program called DDD. So, the first thing I need to do is I'm going to insert my Wii U's SD card into my PC. So a box should come up. And we're going to close out of this. And I'll have all of these files in the description as I always do. But the first thing I need to do is I'm going to copy this Wii U folder. And I'm going to paste it onto the root of my SD card. It's, it might ask you to copy, replace, merge folders, whatever, do yes to everything. And then, so now we've got our Wii U's SD card set up for DDD. So I'm going to eject this, and I'll put it into my Wii U. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to turn on my Wii U, so you can go ahead and do that. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get our computer's IP address. So... I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna just open up my start panel, and we're gonna type in CMD in the search box, and we're gonna open this up. So I'm gonna type IP config, and it'll give you all of this information. The IPv4 address is what we need to get. So this is ours. So I'm gonna hit enter, and I'll just open up a Notepad document, and we'll paste this here, and we can close out a CMD because that's all we need it for. So I'm just going to have this here for later because we're going to need to type it into our Wii U at a later point. So now we've got all of this stuff ready. So I'm going to t I'm going to like explain these batch files to you now. So the code folder, the code batch file, this dumps just the code folder on your on the Wii U disk or whatever version of the game you're using, like if it's downloadable or whatnot. So each of these dumps a different folder. This one will do a complete dump of the entire game. So this is what I would recommend doing. This is what I'm going to be using. And yeah. So I'm going to run this right now. And it'll say waiting for Wii U connection. I'm just going to keep this open. And But right now I'll just go over some like bug fixing and stuff. If it says cannot bind to socket... That usually means that you have Skype open or another program like Google Chrome. So just to make sure you close out of all of it, I would recommend logging out, maybe even shutting down your computer and starting it back up and just going right into this without opening anything else up. So then it should give you this message. That's what's supposed to happen. So now this is all we need to do on our computer so far. So I'll meet you on my Wii U. All right, so I'm back on my Wii U. And the first thing I need to do on my Wii U is go into the internet browser. So again, you've got to make sure that your SD card is inserted into Wii U. And I'm going to go to the enter URL box at the top. And we're going to type loading, L-O-A-D-I-I-N-E dot O-V-H. And we're going to hit OK. And it'll automatically detect your system version at the top. Mine's 5.5.1. And we're going to select the program. We just want the Homebrew Launcher 1.2. And we're going to hit Submit. This will launch the exploit and load the Homebrew Launcher, which is what we need to load DDD. So if you get an error saying like that the Homebrew files can't be found or something, then it's just a simple download of the files and then just copy them to the location it says. So now we're in the homebrew launcher. So we're going to open DDD as you probably guessed and hit load. So it'll bring you to a black screen and it'll have all of these options on it. So the server IP, this is the IP that we got using CMD just a minute ago. So mine was 192.168.1.2. So I'm, I'm going to use the arrow keys on my Wii U. I'm, I'm just using the up and down key. Point two. And now we're ready. So nothing has happened on my computer yet because it hasn't. we haven't hit the X button. So right now I'm going to hit the X button. And it'll go back to the home menu. So from here, we're going to launch the game how we normally would. So we'll just click on that. And somewhere around this time in a minute, in like a few seconds, it should start doing stuff on your computer. 
So it's usually going to loop at this animation screen. And I'll just show you my computer. You see it's dumping the files now. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It'll just loop on this screen, this boot screen forever until it is done dumping the files. Once it's done dumping the files, you'll be able to play the game, turn off your Wii U, or do whatever. It only dumps at about like 600 kilobytes per second, so it'll take a long time to dump an entire Wii U game. Maybe, maybe up to a day, like a few hours at least. So I'm back on my computer to show you like a higher quality image of what it's doing. It's just dumping the files to the directory that we specified. Well, you didn't specify, I specified inside of these batch files. So it's going to dump to your home drive, which is usually C in most cases, and then the game folder. So we can click on it, go to C, then game, and as you guessed, all of the stuff is in here. So you can change this to whatever you want. It's not limited to just like one folder that it can dump it to. So if we wanted, if we wanted to dump it to like our program files, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but then you can just change this to that, and it'll dump there instead of game. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment for more videos. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, and I'm sure someone will answer it in no time. So yeah, I'll see you next time.